Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to this lesson on uh, the you know uh, the basics of the solar system. Uh, and uh, today we are going to you know uh, see the various planets within the solar system. Uh, you know some very basic features uh, about about them, and uh, you know also also figure out you know where the solar system is located uh, in 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 the, in the universe, right? So you know the solar system is is basically part of a, a galaxy. And uh, so uh, you know, basically, a solar uh, system is is one which uh, which has a, a star, uh, an arc, arc, the star of the solar system, is the sun, fo followed by you know planets and and subplanetary systems and satellites uh, around it. So the solar system is located within a galaxy which is called uh, Milky Way, right? And this is uh, comprised of a large number of of stars, like a huge huge number of stars. Right. So you know. So basically, uh, the the solar system, uh, the the, the star which we have in the solar system, which we call the sun, is is the one that provides uh, you know with uh, light and heat in the solar system, uh, and and it it and so it also determines a lot of the characteristics of of the various planets. So planets that are present in the solar system are basically uh, the inner four planets. Which have which have you know which, which are rocky planets, uh, basically. Then we have a, an asteroid belt in the middle here uh, between Mars and and, and Jupiter, and then uh, for we have four other planets which are known as the gaseous planets, right? Uh, we all previously you know there was also a planet named Pluto, uh, which were but we recently it has been uh, declassified as a dwarf. Planet and it's not considered a planet anymore. So the solar system comprises of the sun plus eight planets, right? So the first planet in the solar system is is Mercury. It is the the closest to the sun, uh, you know, and uh, uh, it it's it's basically it has no atmosphere and it completes its its revolution around the sun is just eighty eight days. Then we have the Venus, which is you know we can remember it as the uh, brightest, sorry, uh, it is the, the, the brightest planet and uh, you can see this in the night sky as well uh, uh, and, and so after Venus we have Earth, Venus and Earth are almost similar in terms of size and Earth has an atmosphere which supports life. Then we have Mars, which is uh, slightly uh, smaller, smaller than Earth, and uh, uh, you, know, you can say it's like almost around half the size of the Earth, and it is known as the red planet, right, because of its red color due to uh, iron on the surface of Mars. Then the, the we have the asteroid belt, uh, you know, which is basically material uh, like large chunks of of planet similar particles. Which could not join together during the formation of, of the solar system, and hence uh, they are basically freely rotate, uh, revolve around around the sun. But then after that we have Jupiter, which is the first of the gaseous planets. It is also the uh, largest planet in the solar system, and has 16 moons. That's huge, right? Okay, and and uh, after Jupiter uh, we have Saturn. Saturn is classified by its uh, three you know uh, layers of uh, rings uh, around uh, the planet which you can see here this is basically the whole uh, ring that is there and this is comprised of dust and ice uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very unique composition right and after Saturn we have two other planets Uranus and Neptune which are both again uh, uh, gaseous planets and uh, you know so uh, Neptune is basically the uh, blue planet and and uh, and they are almost identical in in their uh, uh, sizes right and uh, so that's uh, you know pretty much about the basics of the solar system in the upcoming videos we'll learn a little bit more about the sun and the various other planets uh, that, that rotate uh, around around the uh, around the sun we'll also learn about asteroids as as in the asteroid belt and we'll also learn about comets right thank you